Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a video about how to configure fail to ban to protect your Flask server. Believe it or not, there are zero videos about this on YouTube. That's why I decided to make my video today. It took me a week to figure this information out on my own. Since then, I've created documentation and application and right now I'm creating this video. Three things to help you configure fail to ban to protect your Flask server. So let's get into it. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to restart our server by clicking the button. And what I want you to notice on each button there is a tooltip. I'll show you that. We're going to go ahead and restart the server. shut down and restart successful and restart complete over here on the app when I hover over each button the actual command if you want to drop in a terminal and run this command by yourself as you know um, if you've set up fail to ban to protect your SSHD connections to your server this is the command you would use to manually restart the fail to ban client sudo fail to ban client restart every one of these buttons has a tooltip to tell you the manual command so the application is not only doing it for you but it's also going to show you how you can do it yourself so if I want to look at the fail to ban log file I simply click on the fail to ban log file button and if I wanted to type that command in manually I can do that cat slash var log fail to ban dot log and it'll show me the exact same thing I'm looking at over here this is nice showing me my jails I got two SSHD and Flask. They're both started. I got some bands going on here, test bands on some IPs, which I'm going to show you some more here in a minute. Uh, we can also, as you know, you can check the status on your jails. This is SSHD status, which you're probably familiar with if you're using fail to ban currently. Here's two test IPs that we're blocking or banning right now. Uh, these jails are actually filters they look at the log files and block and here's the flask one uh, it's running as well the flask jail um, now down here are the log files for SSHD flask and ban if you want to do these come look at them manually here they are cat slash var slash log off dot log when someone tries to SSHD into your computer this log keeps track of those uh, attempted connections and the ones that are flagged or filtered <coughs> uh, that's this is how it does it. it looks at the log files and bans according to those bans same with the flask log file now right now my flask log file there's nothing in it other than uh, this because I'm not actually running a real flask server on this computer so you're not going to see a whole lot with that but you will um, if I want to look at the ban file this again these are the IPs that I was playing around with and with my app and uh, it's going to show you the ones that are banned if I want to come down here to the next field and uh, again here is the app the command at terminal that I would type in if I wanted to look at the ban the log file and just the bands I'm using the command grep ban bar log ban fail to ban dot log uh, next line it's pretty self-explanatory, but I want to show you it works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add an IP in here. 82.147.33.47. And we're going to ban that IP. IP address 82.147.33.47. Ban successfully. Okay. And and uh, again, this if I wanted to do this manually, here it is on the tooltip. Done this for you, made it easy. Pseudo fail to ban client set sshd ban ip, and then you put your ip in. And this is an example in the tooltip, and the same with unban. Whatever ip is up here, we can unban as well. These are the filters or the configuration files for sshd and flask. Uh, if you wanted to manually go in, as you know, you would type sudo nano 
slash etc fail to ban slash filter dot d slash sshd dot conf or you could just simply click on the button and there it is uh, if you have um, used fail to ban before you're probably familiar with this file uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of it and then I'm going to show you we're going to edit the flask config file now the first time you open this it's going to be empty um, I've what I've done though down here and this is the documentation part I was talking about uh, you can copy this part right here and you can add it to this file and then save this file and then uh, your flask filter is created uh, these uh, filters this was a tricky part of, of figuring this out the first thing you need to do part one is you need to add these two lines to your Python script you need to import logging and you need to add this line logging basic config file name access log uh, th this line uh, there's several ways to do it this is easiest uh, you call your file access.log and call it anything you want. It's going to save it in the exact same directory as your Python script. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Uh, but first, let me show you. We are blocking all 404 errors. But wait a second. These 404 errors, we don't want to block. We don't want to ban somebody just because they're trying to look at robots.txt or get our favorite icon. So we put those in the ignore. And the ignore function and and these I set up for very strong flask protection for your server you might get rid of some of these you might add some of your own um, and configure tweak it further let's go ahead and get out of that alright so these are your edits of your configuration files this uh, is these are the this is the text files that you can add this is all, everything for your flask jail uh, this is everything for your uh, regex definitions for your flask.conf file. And then, um, again, remember, all the commands to do these manually are right here on the tooltip. You just hover over the button and it'll show you. So, uh, using my app, uh, yeah, you're cheating a little bit using uh, a fail to ban GUI. Uh, but you're also learning how to do these manually should you decide to do so. The last thing I'm going to show you is we're going to browse for my flask access log. Uh, when you set up a flask or any other filter, you can test it. And uh, we're just, this is a test just for flask, uh, just for you guys who want to configure flask for the first time to work with fail to ban. Okay, so. Uh, first thing we got to do is we have to browse to find our log file <coughs> for or our Python script. And on on this machine, uh, I've got it on the desktop and uh, in this folder. And here it is, access log in the same as my Python script. And now here's the path. Lays it out down here. And now I can come down here to the test regex flask config button. When I click on that, is it is going to test the regex entry in flask.conf against uh, the log that is being uh, created in your uh, Python script. And it's going to find matches. Now, again, I showed you my log over here before, and there's really not anything in the log, so really not anything coming up. But this will tell you about... Uh, ignored and matched and if your filters are working and again oh there it is sudo fail to ban regex the path of your log file and then the path of your fail to ban flask filter if you wanted to run the command manually um, I hope this video this documentation and this application which I'm going to make available for download or I will email it to you uh, I hope uh, they help you configure your flask protection for fail to ban in about 20 or 30 minutes rather than a week like it took me. Please like and subscribe and if you do I'll probably make some more videos. I do have some t-shirts up on my marketplace. Please check them out. Check out some of our videos. Thanks. Have a great evening.